Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing tonight? There's the game. There we go. How are we doing tonight? So I know at the end of uh, last night's stream, I said that today we might watch the concert, but then I remembered that uh, <laughs> the, the, the game is updating in a few days. So I think we'll save that to do while the game is on maintenance thing instead. Is freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. Okay, Edgelord. Um, hold on. Let me adjust some stuff on my end really quick. There we go. Okay. So. Hello, wind! Welcome, welcome! Uh, this is the one we were working on, the Weeping Willow one. Yes. Yes. So, we've got this quest over on Erinia's. We're, uh, solving puzzles. I am really curious to see what's going on over there with that bubble. Wait, hold on. What the heck was that that I just saw? <sighs> oh, that's just a Shrine of Depths, I think. Alright. So, uh, let's get back to this puzzle that we apparently left unsolved last time. So, how are you doing tonight, Wind? Oh, I need to pick these up while I'm here. Please. Give me these. Farina demands them. Is that all of them around here? Spent an hour learning how Chinese names are chosen because you wanted to give one of your Leo OCs a nice name. Oh, I've been there. Not for a, a Leo OC specifically, but like, yeah, I've done that. I've been there. There's a teleport waypoint right over here. I should probably get that. And then we'll go figure out this puzzle. God, that looks so cool. I can't wait to see what's going on over there. But uh, we're doing this one first. been like a couple of weeks depending on or depending on uh, it's been a couple of weeks 
since the last time I did this. Let me see if I can remember what we got to do exactly. Uh, May can mean beautiful or plum, depending on how it's written. Yeah. this bubble and then we should mm. wait didn't I solve this I guess not um hmm. so it needs to hit these two first and then that one right wow that's all there was to it did I overcomplicate it before, or did I get really distracted? <laughs> Floater, floating water thing is so pretty. It is. And that's another key for us. Now all we need to do is find the final one. Key, key, passive. Welcome back, passive. <laughs> oh, passive. Where did you come from? Disappeared, passive. <laughs> Okay then, Paimon's never met a Melusine so unique, and Paimon thought Melusine all lived in the Corps de Fontaine or Merusi village. How come you're out here? Corps de Fontaine? Merusi village? You seem confused. Haven't you heard of those places? Corps de Fontaine, Melusine, Merusi village, Melusine. Uh, Arrhenius, passive, home. Arrhenius, passive, protect. Aww. Wait, you're saying that this is your home? And that you're protecting it? Passive. But don't the Melusine live in Merusi village? Yeah, that's kind of strange. Are some Melusine born elsewhere? Paimon can't see any others here, though. Passive, do you live here alone? Alone? Melusine. That visitor. Passive. That visitor? There's a visitor? Who? That visitor. Paimon. Paimon. Traveler. Traveler. That visitor. That visitor. So, who is that visitor exactly? Uh, Passive. Are you trying to say that visitor is called that visitor, like Paimon is called Paimon? Passive. Aha! I was right! Paimon's always said that she's clever, isn't she? Or hasn't she? It's an awesome name. <laughs> that visitor. Passive. Knowledge. Kapow! Uh, you mean that the visitor is helping you learn things? Passive. Lots of. Language, wisdom, lots of. Eh, Paimon's not sure about the lots of bit. She's doing her best, Paimon. Passive, that visitor. Protect, kapow. And he helps you protect this place? Melusine. You help him protect this place? Passive. So that's it. But who is this visitor? And why does he need you to help him pr er, er, uh, and why does he need you to help protect this place anyway? And some really bad things have happened here too. We saw the stone tablet and how someone had scratched out the inscription and lots of filth. Are there any enemies? Curious Paimon, passive, but time very not lots of. <laughs> key, 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 square, west, kapow, kapow. We'll be as quick as we can. <laughs> Paimon, passive. Traveler, passive. <laughs> oh, I love her. She gives two happy jumps and leaves in a bit of a hurry. It looks like we really are pressed for time, but we've already got two keys, so let's press on and get the third. Indeed, indeed. Sorry I left this for like two weeks, passive. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I believe we are going to the the funny the, the other one now. The wind rises. The the windy place with the floating water thing. <sighs> that we were talking about just a bit ago. Swan Fury. Yes! Oh, hello! Huh. What do we have here? The wind is pushing me. <laughs> oh, I see that Hydroculus up there. Oh, that got rid of that. Okay. Okay, so I need Pyro. Hello, Weeb! Welcome, welcome! Uh, who do I want to break out for Pyro? Lenny, come here. Oh, it's a this is where the Farina Moonwalk memes come from. Probably just fly over the top of this. Indeed, I could. And voila! Oh, jeez. Okay, well, good thing I got Linny out, I guess. Where the wind is strongest, I see. Hey, come here. Here comes the finale. Easily amused, so you thought it was funny. I mean, I think it's funny. Now disappear. Get over here. This is tough to do with the wind pushing me to the side. <laughs> ah! Crap. Bro! Step right Rude out. 
been unreasonable. The show begins. Now disappear. Yeah, Linny's damage um sucks right now because I'm not using his actual team. This'll go into my magic pocket. Do I have a shrine key on hand right now? I would assume probably not. Yeah, no, I don't. Unfortunate. Um, I should put food in here while I'm in my bag. Um This is no Top time for distraction, I guess. Seriously. All right. The hunt begins. I'm going to go mark that on my map. And also fight these guys. And get this chest. Here's the store. Necessary. Man, this is like way out of the way. Also, I want to see something. So there should have been another one, like, around here somewhere. And, aha! Yes! I just saw in a video the other day that, uh, from Sumeru onwards, you can see where Shrines of Depths are on the map because of this little, like, hexagon shape. That's really cool. Yeah, I did notice that one over there earlier, so. over there? Probably not. Wait, I'm not using any stamina. <laughs> the wind is just keeping me afloat. That's funny, actually. So close! Frickin' tease. Mm. Okay, 
right, the, the, get me onto land. I want to. I want to free in a moonwalk. surface of the water. <laughs> this is very entertaining. <laughs> Presumably, we gotta go underwater again? Question mark? Can we go underwater here while the wind is raging like that? Uh, I mean, it, it, uh, it looks like it. What's this? Yeah, Farina was in her Michael Jackson arc. That's weird that there's only a crab right here. I assume I'm going to need that for something. Yeah, I can't use it to get those. On. That was a bishop. Oh, you can use it to get those. The water seems calmer now. I guess our cleanup job helped. I see. Yeah, that that that's a bishop. I dare ya. Oh, is it not windy anymore? Sleep. 
It doesn't look asleep, it looks dead. A bishop is lying over there. Is it asleep or... Yeah, no, it, it, it decidedly looks dead. It, its eyes are open. Poor guy. Look out! There's a bishop by the altar! It seems to be sleeping, but we should be careful. It doesn't... It, I don't think it's asleep, Paimon. Or is it? Huh? How come... Th how come there's no key? Has the altar already been activated? Has someone already taken the key? Oh. Okay, maybe it is awake! Okay! It looked dead! Oh no, the bishop woke up! We gotta scoot! The bishop by the altar shakes itself awake, its eyes full of anger and hate. You swim for the shore as fast as you can, but it isn't giving up. Uh. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm not the only one who thought it looked like it was dead, right? Eat it. <laughs> Melusine! Passive, what are you doing here? Get away from the bishop, it's dangerous. Good Paimon, Passive. Danger, Melusine. Passive reaches out to stroke the bishop's head, and the furious beast obediently lies down. It opens its mouth, coughs up, coughs up a glimmer, glittering drop of water, bleh, then jumps back into the water. It's a key! The bishop had it in its mouth all the time, but how come it gave it up so willingly? Blue thing, good thing. Key, protect. By blue thing, you mean that bishop? Passive, are you and the bishop friends? Was it helping you look after the key? Passive. Purple thing, steel key. Blue thing, fainted. Purple thing, huh? Who do we know who's very purple and, like, involved in absolutely everything in Fontaine? <laughs> P purple thing? Who is that? Purple thing, bad thing. Blue thing, Paimon, traveler, good thing. I swear to God if it's Jacob again. <laughs> uh, okay, it all seems a bit odd, but it does seem like you're praising us. Purple thing, very bad. Aeneas, very, very melusine. You're saying that the purple thing is threatening the island? Well, at least we have the keys. Paimon, Traveler, Passive. But... Key, 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 square, west... Paimon knows. Don't worry, Passive. We're going to the square in the west right now. Alright, let me... Let me go get that. Too slow. Oh, there is still a bit of resistance here, but that's not really wind so much as just a barrier. Uh, I can't get up there. Alright, I gotta go up and fly over. I see. Ah, 
this should be high enough. Squad Fury. Man, where would I be without this guy? <laughs> guy here makes everything so much easier. And I will take these as well. And then we will be on our way. This is simple enough. Uh, uh, ow. Crap. No! Okay. Come on. But yeah, I don't think I even need to move anything. Okay, no, maybe I do. Make absolutely sure we're getting them. I was like, hang on, is there a person over there? Sort of. <laughs> what is he doing? Where did you come from? You weren't there when I hopped down just a second ago. Quit following me. Behold. Yes, I do. What's wrong with that? You jerk. Well, that one was easy. You even want this? Huh. Too slow. Quit following me. Small and fury. Come on, search for it. There we go. Got another chest. Huh. Gimme, give gimme. Give you even want this? see one up here too. We're getting distracted, but that's okay. just lit up. Oh! Do I need to do something with this? No, this is something completely different.
take it. Oh. Never mind, that was connected. Quit following me. Oh my god, look at these three birds. Yeah. I'm sorry, birds. Oh, wait, are we just going back to the, the starting point of the quest? <laughs> we are. Whoops. I could have teleported here. Follow me. Picked up some hydroculi. Only two. Unfortunate. Key, statue, key, statue, key, statue. Do you mean that we need to put the keys in the statues? Well, that sounds about right. Three keys, three statues. Shall we give it a try? What happens after we place the keys? Door opens. Open door. Door? Where? And what's behind the door? Root. Arrhenius. Very deep. A door to the root of Arrhenius? You know so much, Passive. Passive, protect. Uh, what else do we have to know? Huh? You know, like information. The more the merrier. The more we know, the more confident we'll be. Information? Information... Passive. Information a lot. Great! Arrhenius, information, lots of. Lots of information, uh-huh. Information, water vein, lots of. Lots of water veins, right? Water vein, visitor, lots of. Hmm, hmm. Visitor, lots of? Wait, Paimon doesn't get it. Where do all these visitors come from? Or are you telling Paimon that the visitor knows how to create mirror images of themselves? Melusine. Water vein, visitor, taste. Evil, visitor, sense. Tasting the evil in the water vein? Uh, what kind of flavor is that? <laughs> uh, the, water the visitor can sense information through the water veins? Passive. Willow collect. Fog handle. Spring send. Root water vein center. So Arrhenius is the center of information? Are you saying that all of Arrhenius is the visitor's information system? And this visitor can sense something bad? Smart Paimon. Smart traveler. Passive. Aww. Gosh, who is this visitor named Visitor? Fontaine, Visitor, Protect. But Visitor, very busy. Purple Thing, sneaking toward the root. Purple Thing, secretly destroying the root. Passive, Peak. Passive, secretly snatched the stone tablet. 
So you're the one that removed the writing from the from the stone tablet. Was it to stop the purple thing? Passive. But... Purple thing kept going toward the root. Purple thing very powerful. The purple thing found another way? Passive. Looks like this purple thing's a tough customer. If the root is destroyed, then the information system will fail to function, and the visitor's senses will be affected. Passive duty. Passive protect. Traveler, kapow! Paimon, kapow! <laughs> uh, we can't wait anymore. We need to kapow now! <laughs> Alright then, passive. Open the door. Excellent. Let's go. Interesting. Oh, I'm trying to uh, place that there. And place this here. Whoa! Emma never expected there to be such an interesting device under this fountain. We need to be careful down there. Root very far ahead, very deep. Then we'll keep going. Passive, what else do you know about the purple thing? Purple thing, very scary. Passive, go near, scared. Purple thing, blue thing, fight. So the blue thing was the bishop. Uh, blue thing, a bishop perhaps? A bishop was fighting the purple thing? Passive, but purple thing, very scary. Blue thing, lost lots of. Lost? Oh, um, sorry. But don't worry, Traveler's very powerful too. Uh, something taken down, something, something. Yeah. big area. Whoa. Hey, Draculus. Ah, there it is. New Primo Bishop for the Water Bros win. Oh, jeez. Root. Root. We're finally here! Whoa, that's a whole load of funky stuff. Paimon doesn't see anyone around, but she's getting a familiar feeling. Evil's gotta be lurking nearby. Willow. Root. Are these the roots of that great tree from earlier? Paimon gets it now. That's why the great tree looked so sickly. The roots have been corrupted. Root. Melusine. Uh, let's clean up all this filth. I see these guys. Paimon reckons they're corrupting the roots. Let's get them! Root consuming tumor. The wind rises. Get rid of the 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 dogs first. Leave me alone. Think you can bully me? 
this first. Power protecting the tumor has vanished. Bro! Ah, this is tough. This pollution's impossible to clear up. Paimon, I was doing fine. Passive, kapow! Passive touches your stomach with her hand, and you feel a warmth coming from her palm. You feel like something in you has been enhanced. Passive, tired. What did Passive do? You look revitalized. I don't know. Nope, go back to this one. The show begin. Did you cut it out? here. Be gone. It's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh let let let's wait a sec for the singer to go away. There we go. <laughs> uh, finally, it's all gone. Paimon didn't know that you had such a marvelous ability, Pussy. Now, wait. Something's lit up on the ground. It's some kind of arcane formation. Ah! Rift hounds are charging out. Purple thing. Don't worry, Passive. We'll protect you. Wait, where are you going, Passive? Stop. This place is dangerous. Oh boy. Got no choice. Let's get rid of these rift hounds first. Yep, I'm on it. There's so many of them. Let's hope Passive's doing okay. Uh, the ship, and it's helping us out? Did Passive find it? But where's she gone? I, I, I think the bishop might be Passive, Paimon. I mean, her name is Bishop Backwards. Finally, that's under control. We sure kicked the Rift Town nest, huh? How are you doing? I could do this all day. <laughs> Paimon's sure that wasn't just you boasting. It looks like the roots are recovering. That should be because the problems Jacob caused cleared up now, right? Mm -hmm. But what happened just then? A bishop turned up to help and Passive disappeared. Hey, Passive, are you there? Can you hear Paimon? Where Dad Nuvalet and Uncle Albedo to protect Passive, the dragon family. <laughs> okay, looks like she's really disappeared. She's got plenty of secrets for sure. Mm, she's such a mysterious melusine. Paimon knows she didn't want any reward, but it still seems odd to just leave like that. Why? It's as if. It's as if you had a favorite food. And then one day, the food looks at you and says, guess we're through. That would be upsetting, yes. Well, it's the same kind of feeling, you know? But what if Passive was injured? She seemed exhausted. Maybe we can look for her nearby. Yes, 
Paimon thinks we should do that, just in case she might be in danger and all. Wait, what's wrong? What is wrong? Just as you were about to look for Passive, water floods into the cave, sweeping you to the surface! Why is the water level rising all of a sudden? Was it because the trouble's been taken care of? But we haven't found Passive yet! Because Gold's connection to the Melusines, the Albedo's family not only has all the Rift Hounds but also all the Melusines. Yeah, because uh, the Melusines were born from Elenos, who is uh, one of Gold's creations. <laughs> family. He's got a huge family. Oh no, we didn't get the chance to look for her. Don't worry, I'm sure she can swim. She's a melusine. That's true, but... Whoa, look at the great tree! It's recovered, and it's so pretty! Is this what it looked like before? Pasif will be sh will be happy if she sees it, won't she? And there she is! Oh, whoa, that's a lot of treasure. <gasps> Paimon, Pasif, Traveler, Pasif! Pasif? Great, where did you go? We were so worried. Disappeared, Passive. Ah, uh, box, Passive. What? Is that a treasure chest? You went looking for treasure chests? Passive, but shiny, round, melusine. Albedo has the strongest family in Genshin. Common Albedo W. <laughs> Real. You didn't find any more? That's fine. The chest is more than enough. You remembered what Paimon told you. Oh, you're going to make Paimon cry. Thank you, Passive. Thank you? It means Passive. Pa Paimon, thank you. Traveler, thank you. Paimon, good thing. Traveler, good thing. And Passive, good thing. Passive, good thing. We should come to see Passive often when we have time and teach her more words, like the visitor did. Passive. What do you think, Passive? Can we come back to play with you? Where did she go this time? Passive disappeared. <laughs> wow. Paimon has never seen a melusine like her. Or rather, she doesn't behave like a melusine, but more like a wild fairy. Maybe that's why she can spy on the purple thing quietly. Hey, Passive. Goodbye. If we meet again, we'll teach you how to say goodbye properly. That's it? Huh. Alright. After the other uh, major world quests in Fontaine have been so long, I kind of expected this one to be super long too. That was like, like, dragon spine world quest here. <laughs> Why is it sticking straight up? Sword in the water, only the most pure melusines can pull it out. <laughs> Whoa. 
There's no need to right. exchange pleasantries. Um... It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. Let's see this, this. This area is so blue now. So very, very blue. Uh, where was it? Ah, over here. There was this world quest over here that, uh, I guess has Puss in Boots. <laughs> Look. The, the, this cat. That's Puss in Boots. <laughs> When raising Farina, you recommend hitting this lake in my own world and other people's worlds because it has like 30. <laughs> Good to know. All right. Oh, hey, actually, can I send her? No, I cannot. Okay. Hello. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Oh boy. Woof. <laughs> Someone singing here. Should we say hello? Oh, that's right. That's right, when we passed her by before, she was singing that. Cat is gonna be the next sword unit. <laughs> uh, hello? Should Paimon speak louder? Hello? Oh, the cat is meowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, all right. I got it. Greetings, friends from afar. Welcome to our party. Please take a seat. Huh. She looks very shy. Did we startle her? Let's tone it down a bit. Yeah, Paimon got you. We'll take a... Wait, Paimon's not seeing any seats. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Nana. It's not necessary. Mr. Kihano is right here. We don't need to follow any awful rules. We just need cookies and bones. Huh. Are you talking to the puppy? No, not a puppy. This is Lady Nana. Anyway, that's it for the pre-meal speech. Time to raise a toast. Let us raise a glass in our minds, I guess. Always flexible no matter how weird the situation is, huh? In that case, let us raise a glass in our heads. <laughs> to all the gears, muskets, and math books. This kid is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Traveler meow. <laughs> Should Paimon meow or woof along? Fine. Woof. <laughs> Wait, did Paimon woof wrong? This hasn't felt right since the start. Can someone translate their woofs and meows, please? Oh my god. Sorry, you're right. As the party host, that was my negligence. I should have introduced myself first. Penny is my name. The furry gentleman with the black hat here is Don Quijano. A swashbuckler. <laughs> and this is Nana, a particularly elegant and very considerate lady. Thanks for saying that, sweetheart. Pleased to meet you. Uh, hmm, am I imagining things? 
Why are you mumbling? It's our turn to introduce ourselves. This child seems to be talk talking to imaginary animal friends. Shouldn't we roll with it? Paimon, you can't understand them suddenly? <laughs> no, Lady Nana and Mr. Kihano are not imaginary, and they can speak. Oops, she heard us. May I tell them a little bit about you, Lady Nana? Just a little, or they won't understand what you'll say. Okay, Lady Nana is from the court of Fontaine. She has a surname. Le... I won't bring that up then, good Nana. Sorry to hurt your feelings. I'll just mention the happy part. Nana's best pal is the purple-eyed Autumn. Miss Autumn is a genuine lady. She'd changed Nana's outfit many times a day. Nana wore a different dress to sleep, meals, afternoon teas, balls, walks, and even dates with different accessories. Then the purple-eyed Autumn left home. Nana wandered here with her and became friends with us. Now, would you mind, Mr. Kihano? Okay, I'll also just tell them a little bit about you. Sorry, Mr. Kihano is still wanted by the Maison Guardian Hodge to this day! <laughs> so I can't say much at all, for your own good, of course. <laughs> Years ago, when Mr. Kihano was adventuring with his buddies, oh, that would be Rouge and the blind man, Freeman. They were pursued by hired hitmen to Poisson. They ran out of everything except the three goons on their tail. That was when Mr. Kihano charged in and saved them. What was it that you said at that time, Mr. Kihano? <laughs> right, he said, my fine friends, I love you with all my heart, but it's time to say goodbye. We'll meet again six feet under. He thought he'd never make it, so he lunged in alone and drove all three bad guys away. Wow, then he must be a master of the sword. <laughs> you believe it now, don't you? Rouge once said that you have to use your head, not your ears, to truly get what others are saying. If you still don't get it, just close your eyes and listen with your head. The girl's words are full of fantasies, but you don't think it would hurt to go with the flow. Keep your eyes closed a bit longer. If you're bored, I'll sing a song for you. Mr. Kihano and Lady Nana often sing it along with me. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the fish jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. No wonder they're so close to each other. What would they say? You meditate on that for a while. Uh, Traveler, Paimon's not feeling any different, but should we try to speak with the cat and the dog? They're proving they don't mind animating animals for the quest, but won't dare animate us petting them. Those meows, you can hear the elegance and truth in them, for real. Let us pet the animals! Hoyo, please! <laughs> uh, what are you saying? He's not stupid! Don't you talk bad about him! You understood that, Paimon? Yeah, it just came to Paimon without any effort. You're getting smarter, Paimon. Why, of course. Wait, no. Paimon was smart to begin with. Are you doubting Paimon's intelligence? Yes. It's because she listens from the heart. Oh, I can understand now. Hello, friends from afar. How did you know we came from far away? Can you not only speak, but tell the future, just like Mona, too? Friends from afar is a common greeting, friends from afar. Oh. So everything Penny said is true? I did used to live in the court of Fontaine. Such wonderful memories. I suppose... My old friends are still mingling regularly at the Hotel de Borde. 
I would often accompany Autumn to such soirees at the hotel, and oh, how we danced. Hello, Buttercup. Welcome, welcome. Am I excited for Star Rail and Genshin's newest patches? Heck yes. Uh, we wouldn't stop dancing, not even when the band grew tired. Whether or not you believe me, it is all little more than a memory for me now. For now, Autumn has found her calling, and I have found mine. I wish only for her happiness, from the bottom of my heart. And Rouge has accepted me, so in the end, I stay here by choice. She's fully immersed in her memory, huh? Rouge. Penny mentioned that name. Who is he? He is a graceful gentleman. And he is Penny's guardian, as well as our friend. Very fun to be with. Adept at archery, and knows a thing or two about swords. An outstanding young man. Kafka and Navia, your beloveds. Real. Felt that. Uh, don't dabble in dangerous deeds, Kihano, or you'll get yourself killed. Worry not, Nana. A gremlin once foretold that I shall not die so easily. The prophecy says that when I at last tire of adventuring, a respectable and adorable girl shall appear. And in her, I shall find my purpose for all my remaining days. And I shall dedicate all that I have and am to ensuring she never comes to harm. That child is Penny, but how can I best protect her? Were I a knight and not a swashbuckler, I would know how. Alas, I am not. A knight? You have one right in front of you. He's an honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. Oh my, to think I should encounter a true knight. Oh my god, the meows. Uh, pretty admirable, right? Then, allow me one presumptuous request. I suppose we have the same idea. <laughs> Although there's basically nothing we, the legendary adventurer duo, can't do... Our time is quite valuable and carries a cost. Why don't we figure out some charging plans when we have time? We're charging animals for our help now? <laughs> I'd be willing to spend all of my jewels to hire a knight. So, if you could, please become friends with Penny. Huh? Our dear Penny stands at a fork in the road. She knows not whether to grow up or remain a child. Her body is still growing and she grows bigger by the day. She is growing mentally as well, and her heart grows more complicated by the day. What do a cat and a dog know of such strange human things? But it should be easy for a knight. We need to find a knight to be Penny's friend. Perhaps then she can find the answers. You're very good to Penny. She's the best child in the world. No one loves her more than I do. Please be Penny's friend. I offer you all my necklaces and satin dresses. You have my word, and I shall protect you with mine own life should the need arise. It, worry not, I will not allow a cat to come to harm. The gems from Liyua traders may be priceless, but Don Quijano's promises are more precious still. How do I become her friend, then? You will? Paimon wants to be Little Penny's friend, too! My dear friends, here hence, you are friends from afar no longer. From the moment you asked that question, you became dear friends. This is wonderful, so wonderful. Let us tell Penny the good news. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. With the things we deal with, <laughs> getting money for healthcare is very needed. <laughs> no, it's not. We've got healers. <laughs> Don Quijano about to solo Celestia. Real. Penny, my dear, you shall have two new friends. The legendary adventurer duo are willing to be our friends. Really? <laughs> awesome. I have so many friends now. Let's have a ceremony to commemorate this. The ceremony requires a speech, 
but alas, we lack the time to write a proper one. Don't worry, just keep it simple. Very well, then I shall make this brief. Please, come forward. This should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare. Penny, friend to the children, Don Quijano the swashbuckler, and Lady Nana, hereby welcome Paimon and... Ah, just a moment. How should I introduce you two? You mean Paimon's title? You can call Paimon the best guide into that. Let's use honorary knights of the Knights of Favonius for him, though his other titles are awesome too. Yeah, we've got some pretty cool titles. Uh, first Sage of Boer, etc., etc. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what Mr. Kihano is asking. We need to know who your friends are. Every one of us, cats and dogs, or, oh, this is Don Kihano talking. Every one of us, cats and dogs, are bound together by the bonds of friendship. A life bereft of friendship? Oh, such a life would be too horrible. So, who are your friends? A deity that oversees a whole nation. More than one of those. Uh, government officials and wealthy people. We do know several of those. Um, Paimon is my best friend. You're also Paimon's best friend. Aha, uh -huh. so you are a pair of good friends. Wonderful. I can see that Paimon is a truly great friend. Good. In the name of all the bearings, cakes, and storybooks, Penny, Paimon, and the Traveler are now good friends. You will share all your bones, biscuits, and picture books, and say good night to each other before you go to sleep. Play in the mud together, scare birds together, and count stars together. Woohoo! <laughs> now we're all friends! But wait, the two of you haven't met the children yet. Gosh, we almost forgot the children. Strange, I haven't seen them all day. The children are our friends too. You two should meet them. You're right. Please go meet the children. Let them know you are their new friends. They probably went somewhere far away to play. It's high time they returned. Go into the water and have a look. Don't worry, just go underwater. You needn't fret about the children not wanting to come back. I'll sing a song to send you along. You really want when we go to Conria for Paimon to literally list every single title we have in the game based on quest progression of the account? <laughs> oh boy. That would be a very long list. Uh, the children would, will come back to sleep in their big shells when they hear my song, so head over to the big shell and wish them sweet dreams. That sure is a unique friend who loves talking to themselves so much, but Paimon doesn't mind. Let's go to that big shell Penny mentioned and look for the children. see the shell. rock bye baby on seaweed top when the flow comes. The cradle will rock. <laughs> Penny is singing. So the children Penny was talking about are fish. Hello there, we're Penny's new friends. New friends? New friends. New friends! Sweet dreams, new friends. Sweet dreams. Well, they seem happy. Now that we've met them, let's go to the next shell. This quest is so cute. If the stem breaks, the cradle will fall. Yet I will catch you, cradle and all. Baby's drowsing, cozy. This is so cute. It's just it, it's just based on nursery rhymes and stuff. Q. 
can't find. Can't find. Hello there. We're Penny's new friends. New friends. Old friends. Can't find. Penny the Disney Princess Pokemon Master. <laughs> uh, Penny is singing. Sleepy. Waiting for her to call a fish up. Oh god. Uh, they seem to have lost something. Strange. But we should be done here, so let's head over to the next shell first. Cradle she swings, the baby sleeps. The angel she sings. This one is empty. There's nothing here. Where are the children? Huh? That's a Fatui insignia. Oh boy. The children are gone, and there's only a Fatui insignia left inside the shell. We have to tell Penny about this. Oh, jeez. Uh, I will go tell her about that momentarily. First, I gotta get this. Of course, it's the Fatui. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I didn't realize until, like, relatively recently that... Oh my god. That, uh... The, the squid thing can actually... Uh, do damage. Go get the crystals, receiver nodes... Um, I will... Uh, so where is that? Ah, down here? Yes. There we go. Fontaine brought so many uses for Tia. <gasps> yeah. Um, okay. So. Get this. Uh, there should be another one of those. Yep, here it is. Get this. Decent DPS. She works with Linny. Nivellet has some use cases for Farina, and she's the best underwater exploration unit. Yeah, see, I kind of figured something like this would happen. Because, like, we've had things like this happen a few times now, right? Where a new character comes out, they are, like, absolute trash. And then, like, a few patches later, something new gets added that makes them actually good. Or, like, they might not even actually be trash at first, but people think they're trash. You know what I mean? Like, we saw this with Shinobu, for example. Kokomi. Yeah. Like, who is that? I see. Yeah, Kokomi was always good, but like, stuff was added that made her better a little bit after she was introduced.
Uh, Penny, we just met the children underwater. How did it go? Did you become pals? We're pals now. Penny, some of them went missing. We found this in their cradles. This is a Fatui insignia. Oh yeah, I forgot people thought Miko was bad at first. <laughs> Sino and Nilu needed Nahida. Yeah. I'm at the point where, like, if people call a character trash when they're first released, I don't really take it at face value. I'm gonna wait and see what happens a few patches down the line. Uh, you probably don't know this, but the Fatui are a bunch of very, very bad guys. They might have kidnapped the children. But don't you worry, we'll help you, since we're friends now. Bad guys? Are you saying that Carrick is a bad guy? Huh? Carrick? Who or what is that? Carrick oft sings with Penny. I once recommended he try his luck at the opera Epicles. It's kind of the same for Dory, yet people don't really talk about her. A lot of people just don't like Dory, period. <laughs> Uh, Baiju was goaded, then Farina shot him up. <laughs> Real. Uh, he does have a nice voice. He would go underwater to play with the children as well. Farina shot Jean and Mika up. Yeah. Farina shot everybody up! <laughs> uh, that's right. Karak is a swimmer most, uh, er, most swift. I admire him greatly. So, you mean there's a Fatuist named Carrick, who is Penny's friend, and who left this mark behind? I think so. This belongs to Carrick. He's our pal. Really? Maybe we misunderstood. What are Fatui, anyway? Uh, we'll say a bunch of guys who see things differently than most people. Some in the Fatui love to use others and do bad things. They've opposed us loads of times. So is Carrick very bad? Does he do a lot of dirty deeds? Uh, I can smell scoundrels from a mile away, but Carrick had not the stench of ill will about him. But if our dear friends say he may be just such a person... Oh, I understand. Perhaps Carrick was once bad, but has since turned over a new leaf. There is also the possibility that he is both good and bad. Oh, you are quite correct. One can be both bad and good. Just like a person can enjoy dainty little cakes and raw seafood. Raw seafood. Ugh. Only the worst of the worst eat that kind of thing. Come now, Nana. Raw seafood isn't that bad. <laughs> Wrong! I shall never touch the stuff. Okay, if Fatui didn't kidnap the children, where did they go? Oh, don't worry. The little troublemakers often run off on their own. They'll be back soon enough. Penny. Penny, what's on your mind? Why are you zoning out? Good guys and bad guys... That sounds complicated. Like math. Like, what do you get when you add one good guy and one bad guy together? Penny spreads her fingers and frowns in deep thought, but to no avail. <laughs> she takes out a math book and scribbles, again to no avail. Hmm, I can't figure this out. I haven't gotten to this part of math yet. I'll ask Autumn when she gets back. You must learn from an adult like Autumn, Penny. Adults know the answers to questions like this. We have returned to that old question once again. Does Penny want to grow up or not? Yes, this is the 36th time that we've raised the issue. We have made a list of all the pros and cons of being an adult. Do you have the list, Kihano? Fret not. I have long since committed it to memory. Con number one. Adults cannot sleep on velvet cushions, for adults are hard and sturdy creatures. What? 
they must sleep on boards of hardwood so that they can keep their minds and bodies hard. What? It's awful not being able to sleep on soft cushions. Con number two. Adults aren't allowed to catch butterflies, though I have not the slightest idea why. <laughs> Please tell me taxes are on the list. <laughs> I know. I remember how Autumn grew up. It began when she stopped stepping in puddles as she passed. Then she refused to go barefoot after getting out of bed. She insisted on wearing her leather shoes. And finally, I asked her if she'd like to go catch butterflies together one day. She, she refused and picks, picked up her textbooks and went into the study. That was the moment she grew up. I saw her become an adult, just like that. That is why I believe that being an adult means you cannot go catch butterflies. Actually, not catching butterflies is fine. There are other plenty more fun things to do. Oh, but it's not just these, dear. Out of all those fun things, you must choose only one. You can't do math when you're busy eating cookies, and it's difficult to eat cake when you're holding a musket. That's rough. So I can't have other stuff like bearings, bows, and arrows, and pretty dresses all at the same time? No, dear, you can't. You can only choose one, because humans only live once. Not to mention, Penny, that Kihano and I will no longer be able to keep you company. What? You can't grow up with me? How can I be without you? Who's going to lick my face when I wake up, and who's going to tell me bedtime stories? What am I supposed to do? My poor Penny, you know my purpose is to love and protect you. I, too, am sad that I cannot grow up with you. Oh, Paimon doesn't know why, but now she feels like crying, too. Oh, don't cry. Growing up isn't necessarily a bad thing. Ladies, please do not weep. If I may be earnest, I cannot bear the sight of tears. If I could pierce, if I could pierce that which makes you weep, I would draw my sword this instant, but I... Ah, I cannot bear it. I really can't. I've got to do something. Mr. Knight, let us think of a way to stem their tears. We... We... Perhaps we can bring the children back and let them sing with Penny and Nana. Surely that would make them happy. Yes, that is exactly what we should do. Come, come over here now. Let's figure out how to get it done. <clears throat> Dear friends, how do you feel about the idea? We just need to find the children and bring them back? Uh, this probably isn't going to solve the real problem. She still has to face growing pains eventually. I know, I know. But since she cannot choose, can't we just let her grow up later? Were Penny to grow up just like that, who would scratch under my chin? Who would cuddle me at night as I sleep? No, no. Let us give her more time. As Penny's dear friend, I must put a stop to her tears this very instant and make her smile. Lady Nana's purpose is to love Penny, and mine is to be Penny's knight. I must protect her from harm. Alas, I truly am a failure to think that Penny is crying before my very eyes. If I only were a if only I were a real knight. Out of curiosity, why do you want to be a knight so badly, Kihano? It is my calling, friends. Have you never been entrusted with such a noble cause? Rouge tasked me with this duty, and I took an oath to protect Penny. Don Quijano is one who keeps his word. There is no more time to lose. We must take action now. Sure. Paimon doesn't want her friends to cry either. Count me in. Very well. Then it's time to get up, children. Listen to me, children. Our Penny is facing an unprecedented emotional crisis. We must bring back all the missing troublemakers in order to restore her smile. Then we shall sing together for her and make her happy. That's what friends do, right? Yes, yes, yes! Honorable Traveler, Lady Paimon, this is embarrassing, but... 
I, Don Quijano, am well versed in both swords and fairy tales, and I am an, in an ingenious gentleman, but I fear I cannot swim. May I task you with the glorious mission of retrieving the troublemakers from underwater? Sure, it'll be a piece of cake. No problem. Children, help our new friends out here, and don't be naughty. Got it, got it, got it! Follow us, follow us, follow us! Oh, don't lose that. Okay. So... Ahead, 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 you'll find the troublemakers ahead. These kids don't feel all that reliable, but well, they are kids. We shouldn't pin too many hopes on them. Let's have a closer look around and see what happens, shall we? Follow these guys. Stuck in rocks, stuck in rocks, stuck in the rocks. Okay. Can I use the cannon? Uh. There we go. Keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Do you remember that? Oh, what was his full name? The feline gentleman with the hat? Uh, uh, now that it's just us and children, Paimon can give them convenient nicknames. Uh, Mr. Hat and Miss Skirt. But, but Paimon, we already know somebody who could be called Mr. Hat. Oh God, oh no. Leave me alone. Found it! Found it! Found it! Those little troublemakers are competing again. Whoever catches them wins. You mean the swarms of fast-moving blue fish are the children we need to bring back? Yes, yes. Catch up to them and tell them. I caught you! I caught you! I caught you! Looks like Mr. Cat Hatter was right. <laughs> These really are a bunch of mischievous kids. So, we catch the, ah, you're there. Thoughts on the new artifacts and weapons for 4.3. Um, I didn't look at the weapons, but I did take a look at the artifacts and I was like, man, these kind of look like trash. <laughs> Just, like, at a glance. Uh, okay, we're 
to next. Don't mind me, Mr. Seahorse. The Geo one is only good for Navia and Ningguang, and the healing one is dog shit. <laughs> yeah. The healing one is just like a worse ocean hued clam, I think. damage by 1.3k max you think <laughs> oh jeez uh, Navia's signature is pretty okay for others but needs crystallized and the event one is really good I see okay so I need to get you do that. Oh wait, do I just open it? No, I need a key. Excuse me. announcement uh, the healing one at max adds like 12k or 6k don't remember but it's only got a short period of time but the only units who can use it well have other options uh, using Baiju for example the only teams you would use it on him would be new for that hyper carry oh boy Alright, so where is this thing I just picked up? Oh, wait! I've been picking these up all along! Okay, okay, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, Liam once wore bright clothes and laughed happily. Liam once wrote songs without fear of taboos and mocked the hypocrites. Liam will no longer sing out loud or act so proud, but Liam will not stoop to beg. And Liam will not beg or compromise. Liam and his music will travel far and fly high. And in a vast and empty land, Liam will continue to sing. If you have heard this song, friend, will you too never give up? If you share those ideals, please retrieve Liam's pride and he shall reward you. And there's a map. It's only a little better than Clam. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured just from like looking at it. Athos's confession. Uh, 
Uh, Athos's groceries sold vegetables, kitchenware, and sewing materials. It was Athos's pride and joy, but the jeweler Brandt used underhanded methods to destroy both his stall and his life. Athos stabbed him to death in revenge and... Okay, you know what? Um, I'll leave all of these for later, actually. It's very interesting, though. But, uh, that seems like something I should leave for later. Weapon, you get a good amount of ER and also free 48 48% attack permanently. Nice. Right, so where the heck is this key I need? ER substat and free 48% attack in passive. I see. Literally the power of friendship in a weapon. <laughs> we'll save the day with the power of friendship and also this this weapon I found. as you help more melusines? How so? What was the point of these? That didn't do anything. something it did huh nice we found the entrance now let's get into that cabin and calm them down if you do it right you get a chest I see uh, don't be scared don't be scared okay we're done collecting fish <laughs> we're done getting all the fish okay um, I think I'm gonna start wrapping up here. So, let me see. Let's get these. Head to... A Statue of the Seven. I don't think I can level the statue up, but, uh... Yeah, no. Not even close. <laughs> Um, let's head to the, uh, fountain. That's this way, right? I think I can at least level the fountain up once. I hope. Please God, let me level up the fountain. Squall fury. Yes. Oh, and we get standard wishes. Nice, nice, very nice.
next level we get a shrine key. Alright. Standard. What you got for me? in Discord. Alright, I'll check it out in a bit. So, tomorrow I am not going to be streaming. You think I've got a sharp tongue? Tuesday, I just tell it like it the is. game if someone can't handle it, should be on maintenance during normal stream times. So, I believe that is when we will check out the Shanghai concert, but also, um, starting Tuesday, I have two weeks off from classes, so I might be streaming a lot more than usual for the next couple of weeks. So, keep an eye out for that. So, uh, thank you to everybody who stopped by, and I hope to see you all next time. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. <laughs>